Hey everyone, I'm Armozi. Welcome to another episode of Civilization 5 Rever Reverse Colonization with Kool-18. Hey folks! So we've been talking about how to handle this game from now on. Uh, we're totally fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Our uh, science is technically fine. It's our production that kind of sucks. Well, we don't have a lot of cities and we don't have big cities. Yeah, our production base is just weak, but we're on par technologically. Yep, that's true. We're, we're five techs behind Brazil, but mm -hmm. that's not that bad, and we're not that far behind, say, like, France and things. Yeah, and we're on par with Rome. Mm -hmm. And well, France, I think. Let me check France real quick. No, that's not France. Uh, yeah, we France are... is only one tech ahead of us. Yep. So we could win a war technologically. Mm -hmm. And with I the friendship with have... Rome, mm -hmm. we might be able to get them on our yeah, side. Yeah. Mm hmm in a war, that might be good. Things are not horribly awful. It does suck that you are you have been screwed on two cities since the start. Yeah. Oh, I didn't I'm realize Glasgow got settled where my original city was. I'm actually considering going for Lhasa to just annex it. It's a decent city, reasonable. That's the only way I can get a reasonable city. Yeah. Or it's only Geneva. got one special resource, although maybe it will contain oil when we finally get there, because we got screwed again on, like, everything. Yeah. Right? No iron, no coal. All right, no coal. Yeah. No coal, <laughs> no iron, no nothing. <laughs> wow. Like we, like, we didn't handicap ourselves enough with, like, the no <laughs> tradition, weak civilization yeah. start. Like, you I tell you, we... next game we play is going to be mega tryhard. Use every exploit in the book. You know what we should do the next game? Uh, use either the legendary start or strategic balance start. Mm. <laughs> because screw not getting strategic resources again. Actually, the strategic balance might not be a terrible idea. I mean, yeah. it doesn't. it's not like it gives you an advantage. Just mm -hmm. make sure that no one has a disadvantage. Oh, yeah. I mean, legendary start doesn't give you an advantage either because every civilization in the game gets a start like that. It's not just for you. That's true. It's for every leader in the game. It would, uh, it would accelerate the game a lot because yep, everyone's but, cities would mm -hmm. be more powerful. But well, strategic balance would probably be a pretty good idea. We definitely wouldn't get screwed on strategic resources again. Yeah. Uh, Golden Age ended. We got research agreements being signed. All right, public school. Rome still has quite a few units on my border, but with the creation of friendship, I hope they won't backstab us. Yeah. But diplomacy is a little bit screwy with team mechanics, I have to say. It's challenging. Do we both have friendship with Rome? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. I think I it's I don't. automatic. No, you don't? I, no. I'm oh, gonna okay. Ask him. Yeah, it's really weird. Oh, and it's doing that thing again where I can't ask him for friendship. Oh, okay. But it doesn't actually show me that I've got a friendship agreement with him, so I don't know how it works. Sometimes I think after one of us weird. gets a friendship, the AI will come to the other and ask. But I like I can't initiate for some reason. Oh, okay, that's to be expected. I think they've been at war uh, before. But I think the game considers you to have the creation of friendship. Can you ask Caesar for a research agreement? Because if you can, then the game considers you to have the creation of friendship. If not, then no. Nope, I cannot. Oh, okay. And I don't think I can ask him for cash either. Mm-hmm. I can, but I don't have enough money for that. Okay, so that's really weird then. Yeah. Because if I sign a declaration of uh, a research agreement with Rome, then you will also kind of have that research agreement. We can't both sign a research agreement with the same sim. Yeah. So effectively, I don't know. It is strange. It is kind of annoying because, like, if you have a research agreement with Rome, Rome might decide to attack me. Yeah. Which would give it a backstabber bonus. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know, it's very weird. And we won't lose the research agreement. Speaking of which, we'll get one with Poland in nine turns. Nice, and I've got... Um, oh no, I don't have one there. Yeah, with Poland. It does show me that I have one with Poland. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it shows me that I have one with Budica, but I have no turn counter. Yeah. So that's bizarre. yours. We got 23 turns with Budica. Mm -hmm. This... Uh, is this still loading? Oh no, it's just giving me the stupid progress cursor. You know, with that research agreement, we could actually get artillery before both Rome and France. And I think we have to take advantage of that. That's our only chance to kind of get into this game. Yes. If we, we can get an early artillery, it will be pretty artillery. good. Mm -hmm. 
I have one cannon already, so as long as I'll have enough money to upgrade it, I will get artillery. My production is decent, I just need to repair all these pillaged improvements real quick. My city is actually technically starving right now, but it should be fine. Hey, when did uh, Aberwithwith get dropped off there? Yeah, just a few turns ago. Looks like they will lose it. Oh, it's probably getting naval bombardment. I hope it will get raised or something like that. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want that city there. Welsh names are so wonky. <laughs> yeah. One day I'll do a Let's Play as Boudicca and I'll be like, I have no idea what anything is. <laughs> Run this to Paris, keep the money going. Pedro is plotting against me. Hmm. Probably fine though. Embargo Poland ban copper. Yeah, banning copper would not be terrible. It'd be bad for England, but that's it. Yep. Embargoing Poland though, there's that's also not a problem because we can't run trade routes up there, it's way too far. Mm -hmm. We can still trade with them. Yeah, the only two luxuries we really care about are whales and sugar. Yeah. I can still faith by pagodas, I think. Yep, good. Pagodas are very nice. I can't faith by anything. <laughs> Just a great general right now, which isn't super useful. No, you gotta get the, uh, you gotta get the, um, what is this, Catholicism over there. Yeah. I can fight by cathedrals, but I already have two. You have such a tiny empire. And then you can look yep. at France, which is mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cities. Ugh. Yeah. There's not a whole lot going on in these turns. I'm trying to not have my city starve, but I think it's going to. Down to 11 pop. Oh, really? Yeah, I just don't have enough food. With these tiles pillaged. I only have one more tile that's pillaged. Two more tiles that are pillaged. And I'm losing one food, which I can't get anywhere else. Pedro just signed a research agreement with me. I guess I can unassign some specialists. I'm confused here. Oh, derp, I'm looking at the wrong thing. No! Yeah, what's going on? Wait. Lhasa! Okay, I couldn't, like, figure out. I'm like, how did Rome take Aberwis because they're not at war? I was totally miss. Like, it took me forever to parse what's going on. Lhasa, the city-state, Oh, the city. yeah, yeah. I just noticed that. <laughs> That's actually not a bad thing, necessarily. It's cool is what it is, actually. You don't see it happen very often. Yeah, definitely. I could actually attack that myself now. And they didn't raise it. No, I don't think the city-states would. Well, I've seen city-states raise other cities. Oh, really? And they oh, take okay. them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the rule is. Okay, so the Romans are at war with the Celts. And Brazil's also at war with the Celts. Right, I guess that explains why Lhasa was in on that. The only downside is that Rome is allied with Lhasa, so if I attack the city-state, that will upset Rome. True. Although, if we flip them to our side, then that would be two extra cities. Mm-hmm. Sadon wants investors. Get my last trade route up for a little bit more money. Actually, I might just use the throw extra hammers at New York just to help push out more units faster, but now nah, I'll probably go for money. Get yeah, more I would switch to military production, but I still need some really basic buildings like aqueducts. I never had the time to build that. Oh, I probably don't have them, but I don't really <laughs> have the happiness to support aqueducts anyway. Mm. Like, I can't have my cities grow. I'm at one happiness right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of happiness either, but I kind of have to grow these cities. I guess you have no choice at two cities. Because, yeah, if I fall mm. behind in population too much, then I'll be too far behind. 
I guess that's true. I'm thinking about just building barracks everywhere, which is probably a bit crazy. More temples, more zoos for happiness. Hey, how many turns for the research agreement with the curls, did you say? Uh, it was 23, it's now 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we should maybe have dynamite in around 20, 20 something turns. I will get a great scientist in 14, so I could use him for science pop. I think the best way to go is to just get dynamite as soon as possible. Yeah. So with the great scientist, with the research agreement, we could potentially have it in the next 20 turns. A little bit more than that, maybe. Mm, that'd be pretty explosive. Now we can get some extra and then we would actually have a chance. And if we can get Rome to attack France roughly at the same time, mm -hmm. that could actually work really well. And we could attack Tours, for example, or Douglas. Yeah. Florence, well, Douglas even. would probably have to come first for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unless Boudicca could get into war against France or something, or just open borders. I guess I've got open borders, so I can walk through Glasgow. And we could try to liberate Florence, since that's a city-state, originally. Oh, that's true, over there on the coast. And again, we talked about if we can get the electronics really fast, um, then our battleships can just rule the seas. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, as assuming as we have the, oil. <laughs> yeah, and enough production to actually build them. <laughs> okay, Rome already has riflemen, which I suppose isn't very surprising. We should definitely get rifling after dynamite. Yeah, I've already got it queued up. Mm hmm. Yep. Just did that. And then probably something like electricity to get aluminum going for production. Yeah. I don't think and we biology. need steam power super yes, fast. And yeah, and biology. And we can get archaeology on the way, maybe improve our culture a little bit. I hope I have some antiquity sites for landmarks. I could oh. really use the extra culture. I think I sold my votes. And actually, I think you did as well. Because the vote just went through. Yeah. And France adopted order. I kind of expected that. I expect most AIs to just spam order in this game. That's probably what's going to happen. Oh, Brazil is happy because we supported. Sell my sugar for some flat money, since I can't get cotton from England, because she's being mean. Yeah. Oh, Brazil has two cities now, right. On our continent, I mean. No, three yeah. cities. Uh, Recife, to... Curitiba, and Belo Horizonte. Right. Yeah, I remember I was just starting to build a settler when they came and grabbed Recife. I was like, ow! Oh, well, that's fine. And they are at war with Bodica, which isn't necessarily good for us. It would be better if we could get Brazil to declare war on France, for example. Well, maybe after they peace out. I don't know if anything's happening. How do the capitals look? Edinburgh's fine. Rio's fine. I mean, there's plenty of fog war in uh, Ireland, but I'm betting things are pretty static. Would be nice if we could get all the AIs to pile on France. England, Rome, Brazil, and us on top of that. Yeah. That would make it pretty easy because they would have to defend themselves on multiple fronts. So, okay, that's why I think the deal, I was getting truffles from the Celts at some point and then that deal broke. So now I'm unhappy. I'm betting something got pillaged. 
kind of disappointing. Oh yeah, that's possible. And my happiness is actually going to be fine. I'm currently getting no whales because my fishing boats got pillaged during that war. So I'll actually have 10 happiness. Oh, nice. I should mm. be able to grow a little bit faster once. Oh no, we don't have fertilizer already, right? Yeah, just kicked in. Mm -hmm. I'll probably I can't really afford to renew that research agreement, so that won't be happening. At least on my end. Yeah, I got 13 with the Celts, and then yeah, I just started one with Brazil. Oh, we can steal the technology. Nice. Anything other than military science? I can get electricity. Oh, that's awesome. Huge, yeah, 6,200 beakers or flasks. So I we can say. find out we have zero aluminum, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here we. Oh, we got some. Wow, okay, I got some. I got instant uh, eight aluminum. It's on top of my mind. I don't have any, I don't think. Oh, well, at least we have eight between the two of us. Yeah, at least it's not like a three stack or something. So that's not terrible. There's some near Glasgow, unfortunately, and there's some near Tours. So hey, if we take Tours, yep. you could get 8 aluminum. And there's a lot near Florence. 12, alum 11 aluminum near Florence. Not bad. So there's actually a lot in this area, we just don't have most of it. Of course we don't. Well, we're far enough away from rocket, rocket artillery. You know, if with regular artillery, if we can take tours, mm -hmm. yep, then we'll be okay. Oh yeah, I agree. It would have been nice to get a production boost, though. This is like ludicrous. No iron, no coal. Only one of us has aluminum. Sure, why that, not? Yeah, that aluminum was actually a nice production boost for me. I got thirty-seven hammers in my capital now. That's not bad. Nice. How much am I making in New York here? And uh, since our science is fine, I'm actually gonna sign some of my scientist specialists, I think. Because that will allow me to get more units faster. If I unassign my scientist specialists, I can get 50 hammers per turn in my capital. Wow, that's pretty strong. And I'm still getting the great scientist in 10, ten turns because that's from Osininka, not from my capital. So yeah, I'm going to do that just to get some kind of army going, not permanently. But just to build units faster. I already have an armory. Are you starting unit production already? Yep, getting more cannons in my capital. Still worried about the happiness. You're getting cannon... Oh, how much does it cost to upgrade a cannon to artillery? Is it 120? Uh, on the no, I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Mm. I don't remember the exact value, but I remember it's not very cheap. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I think it might be 205. Building. I think what? it might be 205, exactly. Oh, well, if it's 205 on Epic, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's around 200. So, yeah, not awful. Barracks. I can afford to upgrade a few. <laughs> Still want to get positive happiness going on here. Don't want to fight in the negatives. Not that, like, it's huge negatives to combat, but it still hurts. And the negative to science is terrible, so... Yeah. And negative happiness hurts your production, too. Mm -hmm. Not to mention city growth. Poland wants a research agreement. Yes, please. Alright, I can actually sell whales for oh. 360. Let's see if you have a spare whale. I could take one. Uh, hold on. Uh, do you have a luxury to trade for whales? Unfortunately, no. I only have uh, one gem mm -hmm. right now that I could trade you. Um, and Let me check it's my not feelings. a spare. Okay. Well, if you're desperate for whales, I can send you one. Yeah, that's Actually, not. If you, can on. get, if you can get a good trade deal, just go for it. Uh, I can send you one in a bit. I got one more unimproved or pillaged whales okay. resource. 
in three turns. Okay. Yeah, because that'll like give me that 10% science boost again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am okay. building a circus and a Colosseum as well to get back up. Actually, you can just grab it right now because I have enough happiness. So not a big deal for me. Thank you. Hopefully, uh, Boudica will get her truffles back on at some point and I can start trading her something again. What do we get? Freedom from England. And France went order? Uh, yep. Alright, well that's good. So they'll be at odds. I think the important part is what Brazil, Brazil and Rome are going to pick. Wait, Rome already picked order? Let me check that. Uh, no, Rome didn't pick anything yet. But yeah, Brazil and Rome. We might have to go for whatever Brazil picks. Probably because, freedom. Uh, probably, just because of the amount of pressure we're going to get from them. Yeah, they will be a tourism powerhouse, no doubt. Especially when they're on their own continent. But I don't think the Celts will have any chance against them when Brazil is the tech leader. Bodica might have lost the shuffles because they lost a city to Brazil. I don't remember seeing the lost city message, but I might have missed it. I guess if it was in the fog of war, we might not know. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't see that. Yeah, okay. I just assumed it was a pillaging. Could have been that, too. Well, I found a new city state for us. All right, you got a privateer out there. Yep. I wonder if I'm gonna need some walls on my coastal city. All right, I fixed my economy and production. <laughs> Wait for Rome to declare war on me again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Rome's probably going to end up doing that again. Well, at least I'll have defenses now. I'm focusing on military production. I got almost 60 hammers in my capital now, which is pretty decent. No, that's very good. Rome has 71, so my production is almost as high as Rome's. As in the city, not Rome as a sim. Obviously. <laughs> Oh, they managed to settle one more city, Setia, to the east of Ravenna. I just noticed that. Oh, wow. Well, I guess probably grab them an extra couple mm. of whales. Well, one extra whale. But I guess Rome and France are some of the most expansionist civilizations in the game. Yeah, except this game, Rome wasn't that expandy. It was very surprising. Yeah, but now they are starting to be. Mm -hmm. They are spamming cities everywhere where cities can still be settled. I need fishing boats by Boston. Looks like our continent is mostly settled already. Yeah, it is a really big map. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of cities to conquer. <laughs> what is Rome still at war with? Oh, the Celts. I don't wonder if this map has more tiles than an average standard map, because an average standard map has like 4,100 something tiles. Well, it must be more. Yeah, I think it's more. Alright, more cannons. I'm actually going to get heroic epic and a castle just in case. You know, if a war does break out and I lose my uh, trade routes, and then my economy will not be very good.
And if I get directly attacked, it's going to be in my capital. I obviously can't afford to lose that. Oh, and everything's going to be pillaged again. Well, no, I have enough defenses now, but I mean, I need enough combat strength for the actual city. It looks like Rome's hanging out outside your city. Yeah, I don't like that too much. Makes me a little bit nervous. But they are at war with Bodica. Yeah, it'll probably keep them busy. But yeah, now they have a great general sitting at my border. Oh my god, they've... yeah, look at this. And a settler. Yeah. You know they mean business when they bring a settler. <laughs> yeah. like, we're going to raise your city <laughs> and then a plant a new one in place. Yeah, just to be extra BM. <laughs> and now Bodica told me that Caesar is plotting against me. Not that he launched an attack, but he's plotting against me, apparently. Yeah. Which doesn't have to mean anything yet, but he's thinking about it. That's the risk of going after France, because if we both go after France and then Rome declares war on us, that could be bad. No, we need Rome to be say. in a good war. We need Rome to be in our war against France. Yeah. yeah it doesn't yeah, yeah. guarantee they won't declare, but it makes it pretty unlikely. I agree. It looks like Rome's actually moved back a little bit. Yep. They probably got vision of the, your units with the caravan, and they were like, oh, never mind. Mm, probably. A declaration of French with Pedro? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I just I just said yes. Mm -hmm. Me too. Also, I'm still getting Chaydras with Rome, so would be nice to stay friendly with them. I kind of need these trade routes because I don't have a lot of alternatives. Mm -hmm. I built a harbor in Oceninka, but I can only reach one Brazilian city, and that's it, Recife. One Brazilian city? That's a lot. How much is a Brazilian? I keep forgetting. Ah. Uh... <laughs> no <What>? reaction. <laughs> It's it's a pun on a, a billion, oh, words, you know, okay. a big number. It's a Brazilian. <laughs> yeah, that flew right over my head. Yeah, well, I was shaving it kind of close. <laughs> Man, England hates everyone. Yep. Hmm. Oh. Plus one happiness. <laughs> nice. Oh, Avignon. I don't think I've ever seen that city-state. That's not a city-state, that's a French city. Uh, Avignon? No. Oh, it, oh, it's owned by Ragusa. Okay, that explains mm -hmm. it. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. I'm like, no, no, it's clearly a city-state. It's allied with England. Oh. Uh, what is it's, it? It's Ragusa. Actually owns Avignon. So that's two cities on this map that have been taken by city-state. I can't actually find it. Where uh, is it? it it's, uh, you just discovered it. It's northwest of Rio. Ah, okay, right, okay. I was looking on our continent. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And England is allied with it. <laughs> That's some kind of meta. Sure, why not? But a uh, city owned by a city-state allied with England. <laughs> well, on that bombshell, I think it might be a good place for us to put a cut in this video. Mm -hmm. Yep. But let's wait for our next turn. Oh, 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 yeah, we'll hit next turn. Yep. So we can save. Melbourne wants a rig of bullied. But hopefully we'll have an exciting new war soon. Oh, I'm sure war is coming. <laughs> Whether it's going to be a good one or not is the only question. Yeah. Some kind of war is definitely coming. Yeah. So, All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.